everyone. So I am actually having a bad day today and it just coincided with filming this video, which I was planning to make about having a bad day. So this is ending up being very real. On days like today, for me, it can be really hard to just get out of bed, let alone do my hair, makeup, and get dressed. For me, getting up and getting ready isn't about masking whatever it is I'm going through. It really is an outlet for me. It gives me something to do with my hands when I do my makeup and when I do my hair. It allows me to just take care of myself in a way that feels good. It allows me to invest time in myself when I feel not so great. Everyone has their own methods of self-care and this is one of the ways that I like to take care of myself. What I'm discovering during this rough patch that I'm going through is that there are a lot of really awesome things happening at the same time. One of those things is that I am working with Bare Minerals. I'm really grateful to be working with them on this video and I'm so looking forward to sharing with you guys some of the awesome things that we have coming up together in the next year. So let's try and make this bad day a little bit better. I've had enough bad days to know that this is not the time to be trying something new and crazy. I like to stick with looks that I am comfortable with and that I know make me feel good. First, I'm gonna clip my hairs back. All right, you know, I th I'm gonna roll with that. I'm starting off with a primer. This one is Smashbox Photo Finish, the pore minimizing primer. I really like this one. So I concentrate it in like my T-zone and then blend it out from there. And a tip with primer is to press it into your skin and then kind of swipe it across your face. On top of the primer, I'm gonna be using the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream in the shade Bamboo. This is actually a new shade and I'm really excited because it works for my skin. And I'm gonna be applying this with the Smoothing Face Brush from Bare Minerals, making it easy. See, I'm telling you, as I start doing stuff like this, I start to feel a little bit better. It's pretty crazy how like my mood just gradually improves. So I am going to apply this in the same way that I apply primer, just in the center of my face like this, little dots. Even as I'm just like touching this stuff right now, I can feel myself starting to feel a little bit better. Like my mood starts to lift ever so slightly. And that's how I know that this is truly like an outlet for me. Okay, little brush, let's do this. So this resembles a tinted moisturizer and gives sheer coverage, which is really great. So I still feel like myself, um, just a little bit better. There is also SPF 30 in this, which is always a bonus. This for me is not about achieving like a full coverage look. It's just about doing little things that are gonna make me feel a little bit better. I really love how this looks and feels on my skin because it's hydrating, it gives a dewy finish, and it feels light and refreshing, which is awesome, especially when you're kind of having a down day. Usually your skin is feeling like dull, dry, and just, you know, kind of blah. This gel cream also has really awesome ingredients in it that help replenish, nourish, and condition your skin. See, I'm telling you, when your skin is feeling down, this can lift you up. <laughs> Can't help it, I just get into cheese mode, you know? Th that's where I live, I live in a block of cheese. Underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using my Shantikai Under Eye Concealer Pen, which has been very used. It's super worn out, the packaging. <laughs> um, and this is a little click pen. Just gonna put a little bit at the corner of my eyes and bring it down because that's usually where I have the most darkness. What I find when I am going through a rough patch is that I'm not sleeping as well. So this just helps kind of brighten up my eyes. I don't know about all of you, but during times like this, I tend to wake up really early in the morning and then I'm just like, well now what? What am I gonna do now? <laughs> I'm awake. 
Um, so if you have any tips for that, let me know in the comments because I could really use some help with that. My skin tends to get oily, especially in the summer, so I'm going to be setting the Complexion Rescue with the original Bare Minerals Foundation. I also have the little brush too. Next up, my brows. This always makes me feel better just on any day. And I like using the Anastasia uh, Dip Brow Pomade. This is the shade Medium Brown. I use a little angled brush like this with a spoolie at the end. And I dip it in. Just a little bit. This stuff goes a really long way. I have barely made a dent in this. And then I just rub the excess onto my hand. I use this spoolie to comb through my brows. And then I start to fill them in. And then I have to wipe off my hand because it looks like this after I'm finished with my brows. <laughs> a gentle scrub. I'm gonna use a little bit of clear eyebrow gel to set my brows because my brow hairs tend to be a little crazy. The pomade actually really helps groom them, so the gel is kind of just a finishing touch. For eye makeup, I am going to be using my beloved NARS eye primer. I'm gonna put a little bit on my eyelids because even though the rest of my face may be feeling dull and dry, my eyelids still keep that oil going strong. During times like this, it can be comforting to use things that are old and familiar to me. And one of those things is the Maybelline um, Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. This is a really awesome cream eyeshadow. You can use it on its own or you can put an eyeshadow over the top. And I like that it adds a little bit of color and a little bit of shimmer too. So you are bringing some light to your eyes. And then I just blend it in with my fingers. Using something like this cream eyeshadow is really great because it's kind of like an all-in-one product. And if you don't have super oily eyelids like I do, you could just probably get away with putting this on. But you can use your fingers to blend it in. You don't have to worry about using a ton of brushes or getting out a ton of eyeshadows. This just gets the job done in one. I couldn't resist. Block of cheese, I'm telling you. That is where I live. Home sweet home. Going to be using my CoverGirl Plumpify Mascara in the waterproof formula because crying, probably gonna happen on a bad day. I know it already has for me. And there's probably gonna be more as the day goes on. So I like waterproof mascara in general, but if you feel like you're having like an emotional period of time, waterproof mascara is really gonna be on your side. I really like this mascara because the brush is big and it lifts your lashes and really creates a lot of volume. For blush, I am going to be using um, Becca's Flower Child, which is a really pretty natural looking peachy pink color. And I like this because it adds a glow to your face. Get a little bit on the brush. And then I start on the apples of my cheeks and then I work out. So for bronzer, I'm using Jouer Suntan. It's a really natural looking bronze and I'm using the same brush. I'm just kind of uh, putting it on the edges of my face. Nothing too heavy, just a little bit of a glow. Like, oh yes, I um, went on vacation. If only, if only you could do that, like lay in bed and be sad and then come out with a glow. That'd be awesome. Last but not least, on my lips, I like to use something that isn't like super matte. I want some hydration, I want a little bit of color. So I'm using the Tartist Glossy Lip Paint in the color Obvi. And this is just a really natural nude. I like this color because it's pretty similar to my natural lip color. It just kind of enhances it a little bit. And I also like how it's not super glossy but there is a little bit of a sheen to it. All right, so my hair, I'm literally not gonna move or do anything to it except take my clip out and then put in some of the Bumble and Bumble Pretta powder, which is like a volumizing powder and a dry shampoo all in one because 
a lot of times. Um, even when I'm not having a bad day, I haven't washed my hair because I try not to wash my hair every day. But when you're really like struggling to just go on with your day, this is a great product to clean up your hair a little bit if it's feeling oily because you haven't washed it in a day or two. So I put a little bit in my hands and then I just kind of rub it into my roots like this. Like I said, when I'm having a bad day, this isn't about doing anything extravagant. It's just about getting myself to a point where I feel like I'm taking care of myself and just doing something as small as putting some hair powder in my hair makes me feel a little cleaner and a little better. Sticking with the theme of not doing anything new and or crazy on a bad day, I love wearing clothing that reminds me of good times. Things that may not necessarily be super beautiful to the rest of the world, but they're beautiful to me because of the memories that are within them. I'm wearing one of my favorite t-shirts. It's from Lone Mountain Ranch in Montana, which is one of my favorite places. I've been there twice in the last year, and I just love the memories that I have made in that place because it's a beautiful ranch, but the time that I have spent there with people that I love um, just makes me feel good and safe. This is one of my favorite hats that I have. It's a Boston Red Sox hat that I got at Fenway Park. And this hat is special to me because I got it on a trip with some of my best friends. Um, right after I came out, we went on a road trip together and this is a memory from that trip. For jeans, keeping it really simple and comfortable with my page distressed skinny jeans. These are really stretchy, so you know I'm not being restricted in any way, um, and I can move around comfortably. And then for shoes, Birkenstocks, because normally um, I wear sneakers, but since it's been pretty warm out here in LA, I love my Birkenstocks. These are like the suede ones, and I can't remember what the color is called, but they're like a taupe color, and they just kind of go with everything, and they're so incredibly comfortable to wear. I know that Birkenstocks are really polarizing, but I happen to be on the end that really loves them. So this is what feeling good and feeling comfortable and safe looks like for me, but for you it may look totally different. So just keep in mind outfits that you know make you feel good, because that's what's really important at the end of the day. So last but not least, I find words to be an immense comfort for me. And one book that I always turn to, even on days that are wonderful and fantastic, is Brave Enough by Cheryl Strayed. And this is a book of really amazing quotes um, that are inspirational, motivational. They make you just feel like you're getting the hug that you need. It's awesome. So getting fresh air and reading something that I really love is something that I know is of immediate comfort to me. That may look different for you. So maybe just think about something that you know will lift your mood just even a little bit. When you need to rescue yourself from a bad day or a period of time, I hope that you can take solace in the fact that there are little things that you can do to help yourself feel more centered. No matter how little these things may seem, they can really help you prepare to take on the next day or even just the next breath. Taking care of yourself is the most important thing and I hope that these tips help move you in that direction. Thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot, especially on days like today when, you know, this is part of being a human. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos coming your way very soon. If you're going through something hard right now, I'm thinking of you. See you next time.